Uh, I thought I'd just lead off by um, giving an update on Ishmael Adams' situation. We've reinstated him. Uh, we said when this happened that we'd uh, evaluate as we, as we accumulated facts. Uh, as everyone knows, yesterday uh, the case was referred to the DA as a, as a misdemeanor. Um, you know, we feel as a program that you know he's missed a quarter of his season, and uh, and he's shown remorse for the actions that he's taken. He uh, has accepted responsibility. He's accepted the consequences. He's apologized profusely to his team, his teammates, his staff, and uh, he's come back with a great attitude. And. Uh, and so we're going to move forward that way. Uh, you know, if things change, then we'll adjust. But we feel like, uh, you know, given the circumstances and the fact that, that he has served quite, you know, uh, a significant penalty, uh, missing quarter of the season, you know, we're going to we're going to reinstate him. We made that decision uh, when we found out what the DA was doing. So we stayed consistent with that, and uh, we feel we feel confident about that decision. Uh, Good practice this morning in preparation for Arizona. It's uh, going to be a heck of a, heck of a game. They're a tremendous team. They put up 77 points last week. Uh, we know how explosive they are on offense. They get, you know, they, they play great defense. And I'm not sure the status of, uh, of, of Bright, but uh, certainly if he's back, that just makes him even more formidable on, on defense. He, uh, he's a great football player, but they've got other great football players. Uh, it's going to be an emotional game. and. Uh, we're going to get ourselves ready to go in there and play our best. So that's about it. How, uh, how ready do you think Ishmael is to play? Uh, I think he's ready to play. You know, I don't know if he can play a whole game, um, but, you know, he won't have to. You know, I think he, Ishmael's always been a guy that's kept himself in shape, but, you know, football shape is different than, you know, running around the track or running 40s and back pedaling against air shape. But, you know, I know one thing he... He's taking care of his body, and, uh, and he'll do all he can to be, to be ready to go. Do you want him to jump into special teams in the week? Well, we'll see. I mean, you know, we'll evaluate it through the week and see where he is with regards to return and return game and, and playing defensive back. But, uh, you know, we'll just have to see as we get closer to the game, you know, where he is mentally and where he is physically. What's the status of Fabian um, Fabian is out for the year. Fabian has a Liz Frank injury and he's been having surgery today. How big of a blow is that? Well, he's a three year starting corner. <laughs> and, uh, you know, a great player, in my opinion, uh, and an NFL corner, without a doubt. Uh, and that's coming out of the mouth of, of a guy that. Coaching NFL corners for a living for 20 plus years, so uh, I feel pretty qualified to say that um, it's a huge blow, huge blow. You know, you lose Eddie Vanderdose and you lose Fabian Moreau. Uh, you know, that's pretty significant, but that's part of this game, unfortunately. And uh, as such, you have to take the mindset that. Hey, the next guy's got to step up and perform, and, and everybody's got to, you know, chip in, and it's got to be an all-hands-on-deck mindset, and uh, that's what we do, you know. You're never going to go through a season unscathed. It's unfortunate for a guy like Fabian or any player, really, that suffers an injury like that because they've worked so hard, you know, and I think your first thought is always towards the player, and your second thought as a coach is, okay, now how do we adjust? And if you ever take the thought of, woe is me, then you have some real issues. So we try not to do that. Is there a, does this change anything for Steven Johnson? Will he maybe switch to the defensive side? No. Steven Johnson a, is a slot receiver for us. I think that uh, he's going to see more and more time. They really like what he gives us there. He's an explosive athlete. And actually trying to work him more and more into the, into the rotation on offense. Is there, I mean, would there be any personnel shift? Guys going to corner? Uh, potentially, but we'll see. You know, we'll just evaluate that as we go. Is Fabian eligible to ask for a hardship waiver or anything like that? He is. You know, it happened early in the third game, and so um, uh, we'll apply for the, the red shirt, you know, medical red shirt. And, uh, you know, early talking in this morning, that's what, that's what he wants to do.
How did how did Randall look at corner when he was playing that a little bit on Saturday? He did fine. You know, considering that he really hasn't worked out there. You know, he knows his defense so well, and he's a he's a tremendous competitor, and uh, and he stepped in there and he did well. You know, now I don't know if we'll put him out there or not. You know, it's uh, we're still looking through that. You know, obviously, you know, you could find out about Damian last night. It shakes you up a little bit, and you know you. You're, you're scrambling just a little bit. Now, we had thought there could be a potential that, you know, he'd, he'd be out and maybe he wouldn't play this week. Um, so we had plans. Uh, I just didn't want him to be this permanent, obviously. So. I guess against Arizona both times you played them or 2012 or 2012 and 2014 games. You guys had a lot of success, and those were the two lowest yards per play that Rodriguez has had since he came to Arizona. What? Kind of made you guys have success in the first time? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I didn't know that. That's an interesting fact. Uh, I think we just played well, you know. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we're both of those home games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we just probably, probably tackled well. You know, you've got to tackle well against a team like this, you know, because they're dangerous in space, in the open field, they're athletic. And, it can make you miss, and so you got to tackle well. You've got to. I know last year we were able to generate a little pressure on the quarterback. This guy's a really, really good quarterback. A ton of respect for him. Um, I think it always just comes down to you know executing fundamentals and playing with effort and, uh, and playing hard. Do you think part of what might help you against Arizona is that you go against a high tempo offense? Your defense goes against a high tempo offense and practice every day. Well, we know how to play fast. You know, I mean, we know how to get from snap to snap quickly because we do it all all the time. So yeah, it won't be surprising. Um, although Arizona, they can really crank it up and go. You know, they don't give you a whole lot of formations. Uh, therefore, they can go quickly and they have a really great understanding of what they're trying to accomplish offensively. So they, you know, they move at a, at a pretty good pace. Uh, the key when you play a tempo offense, I think, is always not only matching the tempo, but finding a way to get off the field. You know, where they can they can stream together a multiple play drive. And so that's got to be our focus is not just surviving, but, uh, you know, getting stops. That's, that's critical. Okay? All right, cool.